Hello YouTube, my name is Isabella and today I'm going to be doing the TBR book tag. I recently saw Lala from Books and Lala do this tag and it really resonated with me because I have so many unread books. I'll link her video and the the creator's original blog post down below in the description. Again, apologies for the lighting, it's been raining for for just days on end. The first question is how do you keep track of your TBR? And I, my physical TBR is just a mess. All, all of my books are just, they're just strewn everywhere mixed in with my read and unread books. I actually, I really have to reorganize my shelves very soon. Question two is, is your TBR mostly print or ebook? Almost all of my TBR is in physical format. I rarely use my Kindle anymore these days, so maybe I maybe have one or two unread books on my Kindle. Question three is, how do you determine which book to read next from your TBR? And I would say most of it is just random what I'm feeling at the time, but I do take into consideration readathons and also like book clubs. For the most part, I just pick what I'm feeling at the time. Question four is a book that's been on your TBR the longest. I couldn't quite figure out the exact book that's been on my TBR the longest, but I've decided to go with The Great Gatsby. I'll stick a photo of it here because I don't want to grab it right now. It's in my closet buried under a ton of books, but I bought this like five years ago and I, I attempted to read it once, but it just wasn't doing anything for me at the time. It's been on my TBR for such a long time, but I hope I get to it eventually. I, I don't think I'm going to get to it anytime soon. Question five is a book that's been recently added to your TBR. The book I most recently bought is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I've been wanting to read this book for almost a year now, and when I was at the bookstore they had they just put them out in paperback and it was on sale, so it seemed like the time to be picking it up. Question six is a book on your TBR that you bought strictly because of its pretty cover. And I I'm cheating a little bit on this because I don't think I've really bought a book just for the cover. I've at least been the slightest bit interested in the in the book. So I'm kind of making an exception and it is this box set of the first three Harry Potter books. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it out. And before you panic, I have read the Harry Potter books. I adore them. They're my favorite series of all time, but I did buy these because they're so pretty. I there's there's the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I just I love these editions. I love the shiny gold and they're very simple but elegant, but I did not need to purchase these books. I did not need another edition of Harry Potter. They were just so pretty. I could not resist buying them. So I guess these will be my cover buy. The next question I struggled with a bit, and it is a book on your TBR that you never plan on reading. I couldn't quite... It, it took me a while to come up with an answer, but ironically, I came up with two. The first book I've picked is Hamilton the Revolution. And again, before you freak out, I love Hamilton. I bought this book specifically because of my love for Hamilton, but I don't think I'm ever going to sit down and read this book cover to cover. The other book I grabbed was Ghost of the Watchmen by Harper Lee. I was really excited when I heard that they were publishing this book so many years later. I just thought it was really interesting. Then I heard that Harper Lee may actually have not wanted this to be published, and I've heard pretty mixed reviews of the actual content. Question 8 is an unpublished book on your TBR that you're excited for, and one of my most anticipated reads of the year is Lord of Shadows. I, I've i been reading Cassandra Clare since about 2009. I've been reading her for eight years, so I'm very highly anticipating Lord of Shadows. And it's 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 out pretty soon. I'm I'm very excited. The next question is a book on your TBR that you feel that everyone has read except for you. And 
I went with 1984 by George Orwell. I just, it seems as if everyone had to read this for school and it was never a part of my curriculum and I feel like I'm missing out. The next question is a book you feel that everyone has recommended to you. On booktube, All the Light We Cannot See has been recommended over and over again by multiple different people. I, I think it's because it's kind of like a cross-genre story. I believe it's not only historical fiction but literary fiction as well. And then when I actually was picking this book up, the lady who was cashing me out actually said that she loved this book too. So it's it's made the rounds, not only on book two but I guess in real life as well. The next question is a book on your TBR that you are dying to read and hands down mine is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I have I love Lainey Taylor's other trilogy. It's one of my favorite series of all time. The only reason why I haven't picked this book up yet is that I've been in kind of a slump for the past month or two and I don't want anything to mar my experience of this book. I can't wait to read it but I also know that right now is not the right time for me to be reading it. The last question is funny. It says, how many books are on your TBR? I'm pretty sure in another video I said I have maybe 75 unread books and boy was I wrong. I totally have at least over 100 books on my TBR and I want to whittle it down. Yeah, no, the TBR is ever expanding. And that's the end of the tag. I would like to know what book has been on your TBR the longest so we can kind of maybe motivate one another to finally get to it and console ourselves that it's <laughs> we're not the only ones that have pushed off specific books for a while. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and happy reading. Bye!